greetings of purity. Recently, we have celebrated actually a festival of analogic purity, divine purity, a wonderful way of recognizing and realizing the value of purity in relationships. I'm glad that you are having series on the power of purity. And I'm sure you would have explored many different aspects of the power of purity by going deep within your own self because as a pure being of light, as an eternal point of light, which is so tiny, so small, but having, having the treasure, the wealth, wisdom, power within it is enormous. Ah. Sorry, there is little disturbance. You were having little technical problems in the beginning and uh, in showing the video actually we couldn't. And also Hindi translation and Spanish translation is going on. So those who are uh, listening to this translation, please keep your uh, video on, but you can keep your phone mute. Okay? Thank you. So the power of purity is not an ordinary power. Where there's purity, there's peace and prosperity. And it is the pure relationship, which is actually since generations after generation have been being celebrated in India. But gradually, it became a ritual rather than exploring the deep spiritual message in it. And so today I would like to, as it is the title, with the bond of purity, is another word, it is, if you translate in Hindi, it is called Bandhan of purity, in reality, purity protects us because it's the power of protection. Protection of the dignity, protection of your true self, protection of your honor, protection of your inner beauty and inner power. And this Raksha Bandhan, which is festival relationship of brother and sister, is a pure relationship. Otherwise, when you see in a gross way, two opposite sex may attract each other in a totally different way a different attraction of the physical matter can attract, physical form can attract, beauty and speciality can attract, and eventually they get lost in a totally different direction. But purity between the brother and sister is pious purity, divine purity morality, divinity. No matter how beautiful, handsome brother may be, a hero in the world, well-known, glorified, the sister, heart is happy. And she always have very elevated thoughts. Wow, my brother, a great hero, would not have any other thought 
of other kind of attraction or relationship. In the same way, if sister is also maybe Miss World, Miss India, or whatever, uh, how the people define the beauty of the body, but purity of the soul is something totally different. And then sister might be very special. Brother has always divine vision. He's proud of her sister. And he feels that it is dignity of her sister is actually glory of him or his family because of the pure relationship protects even in vision, in attitude, in vibrations, in practical form as well. And it has become a, had become a system that Raksha Bandhan means a brother protects her sister. Now, even a five days old child or maybe perhaps only two days old baby. Sasra is elder, maybe 10 years older or her from the brother, or maybe more than that. The sister will go and tie Raki, this newborn baby, her brother. And it is called Raksha Bandhan. Now you can see. How can this baby of two days protect her sister of 12 years old or 16 years old? What is protecting from in personality is a pure relationship between because the parents are in between. They are children of the same parents, same mother, same father. And so this purity come, exists on this level as well on this worldly level. And we can imagine the real purity, divine purity of attitude, vision, vibrations, awareness, responsibility, dignity, a natural power within the soul is when we realize that we, the souls, are children of the same parents, the Supreme Soul, for whom we sing the praise, you are my mother and father supreme. Where the same mother and father, in Hindi it is called Bap, jaha ma bap beech mein hai, waha paap nahi hai, or jaha paap hai, waha ma baap nahi hai. Orphans, children become orphans and lose their dignity. And so this is the power of purity which protects the relationship. Relationship with the Supreme Soul. Then we are soul brothers. Then it is not only just the purity on a this worldly level. It becomes a pure consciousness, a pure bond of seeing each other with same respect that this is also a pure being, a peaceful being and maintaining your own pure consciousness that the purity is my really religion, it's my swadharma, it's my real power. This is truth, it's reality of life. And this reality creates self-respect. This purity creates self-respect not only within the self, automatically creates a respectful feeling in the heart of other souls. And so this is why when we see on the field of religion, when any Rajya's action where the people who are practicing purity, they are considered great souls, clean souls. 
may be there is such heart clean heart cleanliness clean heart is there it's called pure heart but is purity of inner level which is the power of the soul it's on a highest level it's clean clean mind clear intellect pure heart and divine level of purity which is called pavan purity holiness holy and in, in religion when a title is given of his holiness high holy his highness his highness is with the power of authority maybe richness maybe kingdom maybe other kind of authority in politics but his holiness is a totally different vision attitude and respect from the heart because it's connected with the one who makes everyone holy who is the purifier the supreme being the supreme soul and so it's a relationship purity is a bond which is relationship of the brother and sister between the relationship of brother and brother as the whole world is one family one god one world one family and for a family you have a pure vision in a logic way as well in the worldly sense as well maybe one of your family member brother or sister is not so as you want that soul to be good with good character with power and maybe perform something wrong you still have the vision for him hope for his or her she can come he will come on right path is got lost so your vision attitude is very elevated because you know the dignity of the family respect of the family is on character and that is connected with purity in practical life as well and this is why it is said if wealth is lost nothing is lost if health is lost something is lost if character is lost everything is lost and purity is connected with the character it is the personality of keeping your discipline in your life and enabling yourself to continue to serve humanity to respect your parents and your family behave with everyone with a divine attitude pure with a pure heart with selflessness consciousness is totally different and so religion this religion going back to the real region of the personality of the self that it called religion is might religion is power it is back when you go back to your original self and this bond with the self brings the power and in fact when we tie the shabandhan it is not just a thread outside just sister tying a thread to the brother in fact this bond of purity is tying the self reinforcing the power within your own self that you are a pure and peaceful soul i am a pure and where the spirit is there is peace and that is the prosperity of the self dignity of the self and for that man is connected with character behavior manners respect discipline it is called 
a thread tying with the bond of a purity that is value your values value your true self it's love for values pure consciousness divine consciousness elevated consciousness that's called pure consciousness of the self love for the self and the other thread is faith in the self determination in the self a promise to the self and not only just faith but determination and you tie with self realization that this is what i am bound or protected with when this i power is it's a bond tying the self in other words in a simple way in a very natural way a relationship with the self is when you call bond it becomes a kind of responsibility it becomes a pressure it becomes some kind of um tension but relationship relationship is a relationship with my own self of what of my original nature i'm a pure peaceful divine entity child of the supreme soul and then relationship this purity and peace consciousness on one side this symbol in the middle of raksha bandhan we have it also this but made it with purposely with the awareness it's a point of light pure being eternal point of light the supreme soul who vibrates radiates generates the golden vibrations pure vibrations even you th- have thought in your mind with a pure feeling and magnet attracts magnet it's a pull it's vibrations pure and peaceful create love for the one who makes you pure who makes you powerful and the relationship with the supreme soul love and faith in the supreme being when these two threads are connected together it's a bond but not a bondage it's a promise is determination intoxication with self respect who do i belong to the benevolent being purity is benevolence purity is protection and so this becomes not only just a sister or brother relationship but relationship with the self relationship with god and relationship with each other relationship wherever you are the pure consciousness attitude is totally divine and so if it's only the in self i am a pure and peaceful might create ego might create any kind of negative thoughts in you of controlling others and overpowering or impressing impressing others to get respect and position no you will not trapped somewhere stuck somewhere but when it is connected with this we are protected because the supreme soul is ever pure pure heart forgiving ever loving ever uplifting forgiving not only but giving 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 because that's why it's called god the giver the best over and so you become powerful being who purifies the self keeps the heart clean vision pure attitude elevated 
actions inspiring and that is the bond of purity by having the company of truth because purity is reality purity is beauty inner beauty doesn't matter what kind of costume which costume which color of the costume is but the color the sparkle of the inner being is pure container might be different but what it is in it the value of purity is equal it depends on attitude vision vibrations thinking behavior in every aspect clean clear pure holy divine benevolent selfless is love there is purity is pure love for the self where you let go of the worldly gravity attraction temptation of any external desires no its purity is the power let go and you feel light lightness is there the light of the soul is increasing and your heart is open open to accept others the spirit accepts others respects others appreciates the specialities of others and cooperates at the time when they need cooperation so it's open heart and purity creates a vision even someone is not at the right level right consciousness but merciful pure heart has always vision server pure heart always have an i high vision a doctor seeing a patient would always think think of his health better improvement a mechanic will see a broken car would visualize to make it perfect in working order and so if vision is doesn't matter where the souls are now you have a vision of mercy you have vision of love so purity does not have any discrimination there is no two is to any kind of discrimination in vision vision for everyone is equal these are pure soul originally they are pure so in this way this is a this is connection bond or relationship with your own divinity and creates relationship with others and that is called experience of your true self that love let go be light open your heart have the divine vision through vision is always you are picking up virtues you are sharing virtues you are appreciating their specialities but are not possessive dependent no jealousy no competition no comparison because each one is unique in their own specialities and so this exchange even in vibrations make the relationship elevated and so this this bond of raksha bandhan raksha bandhan means protection a bond of protection all the relationship another aspect when purity is there all the relationships of the soul are with one the supreme soul and then pure selfless giving love of the mother father friend guide teacher your surgeon your doctor your washerman this god is the guide it becomes in every aspect companion of the soul and you keep the company 
of his powers. This purity brings the power which creates a miracle. When pure intellect is there, you can see the more refined intellect is there, you are able to pick up, you are able to change rubbish into divine things. Transformation takes place. Purification takes place. And so this company of truth is also the, brings the quality of bliss in life because it is true consciousness of selflessness and benevolence, pure consciousness. God's qualities become your companion and your company and you are colored with that beauty of godly truth. And when that is going deep within our personality, conscious, subconscious, natural, it's called bliss. Sat, Chit, Anand, Satchid Anand. And when truth is there, your virtues are truth for others, blessings for others. Your words are inspiring for others because it's given with a pure heart. They are called blessings. They are called jewels. What transformed them from stone to jewels? Pure feelings, pure vibrations, pure attitude. And so they call Satta Vachana Maharaj. Their words are making them not only just a great Mahatma, a holy man, but self-sovereign and also winning the heart of others, but with a pure consciousness. There's no physical attraction, but it is something is pulling, connecting automatically. It's not a bondage, it's a freedom. It's such a bond, it's a, such a relationship which never ties you and yet is always attracting you. And that is called godly love, pure love, divine love, because God is the purifier. And that's why cleanliness attracts people. It's called cleanliness is next to godliness. And so it's a consciousness here, clean conscious. And so this is why after tying Rakhi, a tilak is given with saffron and sandalwood in the center of the forehead. This is also called when you perform a pure task, an elevated task, a successful task is always in order to get success, in order to get victory, you put a tilak. And you go in a holy place, doesn't matter man or woman, you go in the temple, a tilak of sandalwood paste is given. The meaning is when there's pure consciousness, you are not taking any kind of conflict. In fact, even the conflict becomes emerging. Some kind of criticism does not create hatred in you. It makes you aware of, find out what the soul is looking from you. What are their expectations from you? You emerge your, with pure heart, their wish to be fulfilled. It is just like sandalwood paste. If you rub a stone against a stone, fire will emerge. But if you rub a piece of sandalwood against this rough stone, heat will not emerge. But with a sprinkle of water, coolness, color, fragrance will emerge. And that's called healing energy. It heals. But in fact, it creates the pure vibrations. And so it is a tilak, is also a memory of victory, of overcoming the negative tendencies and maintaining the awareness of pure consciousness, divine consciousness, elevated consciousness. And it means 
with this determination, pure consciousness, you are powerful to let go all the weakness and vices which were existing. And that is called renunciation. But at the same time, it's a vrat, it's a determination. Renun renunciation is not with any kind of force, but in fact it's with dignity that you bring transformation within yourself. You bring the power within your own self to finish the weakness and make yourself powerful. So there's not ego in this, but it is humility, gentleness to check again and again that purity does not fight with each other. Natural nature, pure nature does not compete with each other. It doesn't criticize. In fact, it gives and giving. That's why God is bestower of happiness. This godly purity makes you divine. And then this divinity is worshipped even if these divine beings are not existing anymore in their physical form. Their statues, their statues have that vibrations. Now, how can stone have these vibrations? But because they, we remember that purity of them, we remind ourselves within our own selves when we begin to become stoned from divine intellect, we remember the real purity of ourselves. And then we realize where we have lost our purity and we begin to worship. So our relationship with purity is not broken, but we are lost and we have lost our divinity. And we go in front of our divine state of being of purity and we say, please, oh God, forgive me. I'm downtrodden. I'm wicked. Vishavikar mitavo papa haro deva. Oh God, remove my vicious action, my vicious personality. I have been separated from you. I have separated from my own self, been separated by my own self, my, from dignity and divinity. That's called sin. Sin is not anything else. Any action that is done in separation of soul conscious and God conscious become weak, vicious, and we do wrong things. And then we repent after that. In fact, that trace of purity still remains in us. It is just like the full moon when perfect purity was there. And even you keep fasting, you keep, if we eat pure food, clean atmosphere, pure thinking, satsang, company of truth, satanarayan, we do the fasting, vrat, because it's full moon's awareness. A complete, all virtuous, completely viceless, fullness to its capacity, and 2% is more. Otherwise, the moon is full on 14 days, but 2 degrees more, even 16 days, 2 days more, and then start coming down. And so when we, in the same way, when we come, in consciousness of our physical body. So soul conscious energy begins to change and our pure consciousness has purity, peace, love, truth, benevolence, wisdom. This degree becomes less and less. And selfish motive begins and impure begin, impurity begins, desire begins, kamanai, kam vikar comes, and here we become our own enemy. In the name of pleasure, in the name of enjoyment, we lose the, lose the real bliss, real joy, real beauty. And why we call bonded? Once again, it's a promise to create relationship with the self with a deep realization. So constant checking is needed for that. 
not only one one note second third one two three final it means that make your mind because you the soul a pure being has three powers so perfect purity is not just external celibacy but in fact internal power of the soul is not just external discipline is the eternal realization self respect who am i from my in my original nature as my eternal nature and that is purity of the mind because i the soul am an eternal energy a thinking being so my energy of positive pure thoughts is always positive then a divine clean clear intellect that is the second connection dot not <laughs> by this you tie yourself determination discrimination between wrong and right and taking this vow of purity within the self that this criticism with or anger jealousy hatred ego all this impurity does not exist anymore impurity is weaknesses and vices selfish motive and then it becomes actions become wrong and wrong and eventually this desire become a disease and corruption comes in society so correction is needed character has to be purified so our personality has to become divine sanskaras have to become divine that what we were before divine deities so that the statue also vibrates the vibrations of purity a poster or picture of paper also radiates divine purity what about the living being so that bond that power is actually the purity of vibrations of soul consciousness ego is impurity body consciousness is their doorway to impurity and but checking within the self transforming in the self making determination but and again and again is now for the self we check so balance is greatness humility is also there and benevolence not ego body conscious not but soul conscious godly consciousness and so when mind intellect and personality all three are pure the level of truth that is perfect purity true purity holy and which makes soul happy because pick up the virtues from everyone like the holy swan and you swing in the swing of super swasthya joy but totally detach free from attraction and free from any kind of influence or bondage of anything because this purer you are the higher you fly the higher you go up you see when the big things very minor and so not influencing as time is reminding me that i should now wind up so the real purity of the self is purity of being within go within and practice this i am a pure and peaceful soul i am joyful truthful and then our relationship with everyone will be pure perfect and so where there is purity peace and prosperity exist there and this world becomes a world of divine beings 
of Sri Lakshmi and Sri Narayan or the world of happiness of Sri Krishna. As this is, these are the days of Kraksha Bandhan and Krishna Janamashtami, the greetings of happy world, of purity, peace and perfection. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Thank you. Thank you so much, Didi, for this great explanation. It is so subtle, but very clear. And, and really, I remember that about 38 years ago, I heard your first talk on Raksha Bandhan, and I was really enlightened straight away that how ritually we tie this Raksha Vandan, the thread of love, protection to our brothers. And with the feelings of having good health and wealth and long lifespan. And it was like so gross. But realizing now and after hearing your talk, uh, at that time I thought, what is the point of life, you know, without the purity, without that that being uh, pure thoughts, words, and actions, and relationship without purity. What is the meaning of long lifespan? What is the meaning of having wealth? What is the meaning of good health? And so I instantly realized, and I started sharing with my other sisters and brothers, you know, how really the Kshabandhan should be celebrated. But day by day, you know, it became so clear and clearer and how nicely you explain and so subtly you explain today also that purity is not just celibacy or having pure food, but then moving towards our viceless stage. And this viceless stage is becoming completely viceless, but all virtues, imbibing all divine virtues and celebrating this divinity amongst our relationships. And so it is so nice that we feel like we're listening to you and so much depth and so much subtlety in your explanation that anyone can understand what this really bond of protection is. And it is really this good bond, the greatest bond is of purity and how we experience protection from God, the Supreme. <laughs> 